Crucial checks before running clock tree synthesis, CTS. The question you asked is very relevant. Before diving into clock tree synthesis, CTS, in VLSI design, a series of checks are essential to ensure a robust and well-functioning clock distribution network. Let's explore these key checks. 1. Design legality. Verification and manufacturability. Tools are used to verify if the placement of standard cells adheres to the design rules defined by the chosen technology library. This ensures the design can be manufactured correctly and avoids potential electrical issues during fabrication. 2. Power and ground network checks. Power grid integrity. Analyze the power and ground network to ensure sufficient power delivery throughout the design. This helps prevent voltage drops that could negatively impact circuit performance. Electrostatic discharge, ESD, protection. Verify if proper ESD protection structures are strategically placed to safeguard the circuit from electrostatic discharges that can cause damage. 3. Timing analysis and constraints. Static timing analysis, STA, perform STA to estimate signal arrival times and identify potential timing violations. This analysis helps establish realistic timing constraints for the clock tree. Defining clock constraints, specify the required clock arrival time and skew, variation in arrival time, at different registers, flip-flops, in the design. These constraints guide the CTS tool in building an optimal clock tree that meets the timing requirements. 4. High fanout net management. Identifying critical nets, locate nets that drive many other cells, high fanout nets. These nets can introduce additional delay and require special handling during CTS. Buffering or net duplication. Consider using buffers or duplicating the net to improve signal integrity and reduce delays on high fanout nets, ensuring reliable signal distribution. 5. Design library considerations. Cell compatibility. Ensure that the chosen standard cells are compatible with the CTS tool and the target technology node being used for fabrication. Special clock cells. Verify if the design library includes dedicated clock buffer and inverter cells for building the clock tree. These cells often have optimized characteristics for clock signal distribution, leading to better performance. Additional considerations. Congestion analysis. Estimate potential routing congestion issues that might arise during CTS. Congestion can significantly impact clock tree performance by making it difficult to efficiently route clock signals. Don't touch and don't size attributes. Review any existing constraints on specific cells that might restrict their placement or sizing during CTS. These constraints can be used to guide the CTS tool and potentially improve the clock tree. By performing these crucial checks before CTS, designers lay a solid foundation for building an optimal clock tree that delivers clock signals with minimal skew and meets the required timing constraints. This leads to a high performance and reliable VLSI design. I design. Challenges faced in CTS spec file creation for VLSI design. The clock tree synthesis, CTS, specification file plays a vital role in guiding the CTS tool to build an optimal clock tree in a VLSI design. However, creating this file can present some challenges. Specifying accurate timing constraints. Balancing requirements, defining overly aggressive timing constraints, early arrival times, tight skew targets, can lead to complex and potentially unroutable clock trees. Conversely, loose constraints might not meet the design's performance goals. Striking a balance is crucial. Accounting for process variations, manufacturing variations can cause slight differences in cell delays across the chip. The CTS spec file needs to consider these variations to ensure the clock tree functions correctly under different process conditions. Managing clock tree complexity. Large designs. For very large designs with numerous clock sinks, registers, creating a well-balanced and routable clock tree can be challenging. The spec file needs to account for efficient clock tree topologies and potential buffering strategies. High fanout nets. Nets driving many clock sinks can introduce additional skew and routing congestion. The spec file might need to include special handling instructions for these nets, such as buffering or clock tree restructuring. Balancing performance and power. Aggressive optimization. Pushing for minimal skew and very tight timing constraints can lead to a complex clock tree with many buffers. However, these buffers increase power consumption. The spec file needs to find a balance between performance and power efficiency. Clock gating complexity. Clock gating techniques can be used to reduce power consumption in inactive parts of the circuit. However, these techniques can introduce additional complexity to the clock tree and require careful consideration in the spec file. Addressing physical design constraints. Routing congestion. The CTS spec file should be mindful of potential routing congestion issues that might arise during the layout stage. Overly complex clock trees can be difficult to route efficiently. Placement and die size. 
The placement of clock buffers and the overall size of the clock tree can be limited by the available space on the die. The spec file needs to consider these physical constraints. Effective communication. Clarity and completeness. The CTS spec file needs to be clear, concise, and well documented to ensure proper interpretation by the CTS tool and designers. Ambiguous or incomplete specifications can lead to suboptimal results. Collaboration. The creation of the CTS spec file often involves collaboration between design engineers and physical design teams. Clear communication and well-defined expectations are essential to achieve optimal clock tree performance. By understanding these challenges and carefully crafting the CTS spec file, designers can achieve well-balanced clock trees that meet performance, power, and routability requirements in their VLSI designments in their VLSI designs.